Hi, it's me, Sonia. And the other day, I made some bang bang salmon bites. These are great if you're looking for a healthy snack or you want to use it as a meal. You won't be disappointed. So instead of putting it in a batter and frying it, I decided to cook it in the oven and I'm going to show you how I did it so you can give it a try too. I went to the market, picked up a fresh salmon filet. The one I picked up had the skin on it. Let me show you how I removed it. Through trial and error, I have found the best knife to remove the skin is the filet knife because it's flexible and bendable. I once used a kitchen knife and I destroyed the flesh of that poor salmon. It looks so bad. So trust me, if you're gonna use a knife to remove the skin, a filet knife is the way to go. So I put the salmon skin side down on a cutting board. I started at the tail end and I made a cut. Then place the knife between the skin and the flesh of the salmon holding on to the end and I began slicing it and pressing down with the knife and pulling on that end. And in no time, I got the skin completely off. I then washed and patted the salmon dry. For this recipe, I only use one and a half pounds of the salmon and I cut it into about one inch bite-sized pieces. I then season with some Cajun seasoning and the seasoning that I had is called Slap Your Mama Cajun Seasoning. It's pretty good. Now, I didn't measure the amount of seasoning I use, but if I had to guess, I would say about two and a half to three tablespoons. Just be mindful of how much of this seasoning because of the sodium. And remember, you can add more seasoning after it's finished cooking. Next, I lined a baking sheet with aluminum foil, sprayed it with some avocado oil, and then placed the salmon in the pan. I then set it aside and I made the sauce. The sauce is really easy and consists of only three ingredients, mayo, sweet chili sauce, and sriracha. Give it a stir until it becomes creamy and then set it aside. Okay, now it's time to get that salmon in the oven. I set the oven to broil. Once it comes up to temp, I placed the pan in about six to eight inches away from the broiler and cooked uncovered for approximately 10 minutes. Now while it's cooking, don't walk away. You wanna keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn, especially if this is your first time making it this way. I prefer my salmon well done, which is between 140 to 145 degrees. So while it's cooking, a few times I'll open the oven, I'll use my instant read thermometer to check the temperature. This way I don't undercook or overcook it. And then, a few moments later, I took it out the oven, looking good. <laughs> bang, bang salmon bites. I put some in a small bowl and drizzled the sauce over it. Or you can put it all in the sauce and toss it around. Another option is just to dip it as you eat it. Now this is totally optional. I put some peppers and sprinkled some green onions over it, you know, just to make it look pretty. I think you should give this recipe a try, and if you do, please be sure to leave a comment below and let me know how it turns out for you.